When you have symmetric geometry in a design, you can save time by using the Sketch Entity Mirror tool. This allows you to mirror geometry from one side to the other side. In this lesson, I'll teach you three basic methods in which symmetric geometry can be created. First, I'll show you a method where half the geometry is already created, and we will use the Mirror Entities command to create the other half. Next, I'll demonstrate the dynamic mirror option, which allows you to sketch symmetric entities simultaneously. And finally, I'll show you a manual approach of adding symmetric geometric relations to a sketch to achieve a similar result as using the sketch mirror tool. So the mirror entities tool allows you to mirror sketch geometry about lines, center lines, or model linear edges. In this first example, I already have a part modeled and you can see a 2D profile on the left, which I want to mirror over to the other side. And then we can cut through the object using those two profiles. To begin, we need to activate the sketch that this 2D profile is on. So I'm going to go over to here in my uh, feature manager, click on the sketch, go to edit sketch. And we are now in the sketch mode. And to activate the sketch mirror, you can either go to tools, sketch tools, and then mirror, or you can find it in the sketch tab, mirror entities. Once the command is activated, you'll see in the side panel over on the left, there are two boxes. So the first is entities to mirror, which is obviously the profile, the geometry that you want to mirror. And we can select either the lines. Sometimes you can actually just select the whole profile. So move your mouse around, see what highlights to maybe make the selection process easier. The next option is mirror about. And in this case, we're going to use this center line that's been created and click on that. And you can notice that there is a highlighted profile showing what the result of the mirror can be. Before we push OK though, there is a copy box that is ticked. When that is ticked, it means that whatever you select and mirror is just going to copy to the other side. If I was to untick that option, what will happen is it will delete the original side, mirror it to the other side, and that's where your new profile would be. So just be aware of that option in case you find that the, the geometry on one side is being deleted and moving to the other side. It is likely because you have that untick. So in this case, we want to copy it over to the other side, making sure the copy box is selected and we can push OK. But before I do that, I just want to show you quickly when you have entities selected, you can actually delete them and add more. So in case I accidentally added one line too many, I can just actually delete them or if I right click in this option, clear selection entirely. So that is another way if you do make a mistake instead of restarting the command all over again, you can just clear the ones or clear the whole lot and then pick it again. So that's just something to keep in mind to maybe save some time in the future. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Our profile is now mirrored over to the other side. So that is the basic mirror entity option. And just to complete this process, if we can uh, then cut these profiles through all, and there you go. So that may have been the purpose of mirroring the sketch geometry over and then using a single cut through the object. The second mirror tool we can use is the dynamic mirror tool. This works a little differently. So here we have another sketch already created and we just have a single center line in the middle of the drawing. To access this tool, we go to tools, sketch tools, and then dynamic mirror. This activates the dynamic mirror tool. With the tool now activated, you'll notice there is a message on the side that says, please select a sketch line or linear model edge to mirror about. So it is just asking for a line to actually create the mirror. So we will pick this center line that's been created. And when we do that, you'll notice these little icons on the top and bottom that look like little equal signs. So that just means that the dynamic mirror is happening on that axis or on that center line we've created. So if now I create some lines, you'll notice that whatever I do on this side, or if I was to do it on the other side, will be 
mirrored dynamically onto the other side. And if we put a circle here, uh, we could move this point. So whatever we do, it is dynamically mirroring to the other side. So this could be quite a handy little feature. To stop the dynamic mirror, we have to turn the command off. So we could go back up to the tools and then sketch tools and then click on that. I want to show you a quick time saving tip here. If we actually right click, we can go to recent commands. And in here, you'll find the dynamic mirror entities as well as any other recent commands you've used. So we could just right click, go to recent commands and then dynamic mirror entities. And you'll notice those little equal signs are gone. So the command is now turned up. One final point on the dynamic mirror tool is that whatever we created in that command is still kind of symmetrically attached to each other. So if I was to move these points around, you'll notice that it moves dynamically on the other side or symmetrically on the other side. But if I was to create a line on this side, it's not dynamically creating it on the other side because that command isn't still activated. If I was to adjust any of these points, they are still in a symmetric relation. But if I was to delete it, it just deletes that symmetric relation on the other side, but doesn't actually delete it from the other side. And to demonstrate the final method of creating a mirrored geometry is we can manually create it using relations or the symmetric relation. So on this sketch, I have just a few basic lines and a couple of circles. The first thing we wanna do is place a center line. So we can go to our shortcut menu and picking our center line. And we're just gonna create it from the origin point and drop it here. We can use this center line as our kind of mirror point, our mirror axis. What we wanna do is holding down control so we can pick multiple objects, hold down control, pick the center line, and we're going to pick these two end points. When we let go of control without moving the mouse, you should see a little menu pop up. If you don't see it, if you move your mouse out of the way and it disappears, you can still see it over on this left-hand side. And the tool we wanna to use is symmetric. We pick that and we go okay. So now you'll see that these two points are kind of like symmetrically mirrored about this center line. So again, let's use these two middle endpoints. So we're going to hold down control this, pick the center line and then pick this point. And then we're going to make symmetric, clicking OK. And you can see now these two points are also symmetric. And finally, we want these two circles to be symmetric. And we could actually, by holding down control and picking these two circles, we could actually use the make equal relation, which in effect would create a symmetric relation between those two circles. But just to follow the purpose of this video, uh, we'll go back. We're going to hold down control, pick the first one, first circle, the center line, and then that last circle. Just so we do see the symmetric uh, relation, clicking on it, pushing OK. And now you can see that the circles are symmetrically mirrored about the center line. So that is how you use the sketch mirror tool. You'll often use this a lot. Whenever you see any kind of symmetric geometry, you can usually save yourself time by just doing half of it and then creating a center line or some sort of reference point to copy it to the other side. And this will cut down a lot of the sketching that you have to do. So that will come into more design intent later in the videos of this series, but it is something to be aware of. So whenever you do see that symmetric geometry in a model that you'll think of this command and hopefully use it in an effective way.